So uh, at this time, go ahead. My name is Chris Brooks from Kennesaw, and I would like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak today. I suffer from an incurable disease called myalgic encephalomyelitis, also known as chronic fatigue syndrome, or MECFS. Symptoms include full body pain, brain fog, constant fatigue, flu-like symptoms, unrefreshing sleep, as well as many others. At one point in my illness, I was bedbound for years, wanting to die from the pain and fatigue. There was very little medically the doctors could do for me. In July of 2017, I read about a plant called Kratom, a member of the Evergreen family and a cousin of the coffee plant. There were numerous reports of people also suffering from MECFS that were benefiting from Kratom use and experiencing, experiencing a decrease in symptoms. I had my doubts, but with very few options available to me, I thought I would give it a try. What happened next was amazing. After using Kratom for the first time, I was able to get up out of bed and do some simple chores around the house for a few hours. This might not, like, this might not seem like much to you, but for me it was nothing short of a miracle. I would not be standing in front of you today if it were not for Kratom. It is the most important thing that I take on a daily basis. If I had to get rid of all my supplements and medications available to me, except one, I would keep Kratom. There is no supplement or medication that I know of that I can that can take the place without a host of unwanted long-term side effects. I am not just speaking for myself today. There are tens of thousands of Georgians just like me. I personally know of a, a couple at my parents' church that have serious health issues, uh, yet they are greeting people and passing out bulletins each Sunday. Honestly, they s they honestly say they could do not do so without Kratom. I have spoken to nurses, police officers, business people, and people from all walks of life that this plan helps. I am here in front of you today to plead with you to make the right decision for all of us keeping Kratom legal in the state of Georgia. I want to make a couple of additional comments about the last meeting. Uh, some doctors have made blanket statements that patients are not, taking, are not making them aware of non-pharmaceutical supplements they are taking. That is an incorrect statement. I, for one, have been upfront with my doctor about my Kratom usage, and he agreed with my decisions and monitors my health accordingly. I do agree with the ingredient list being on Kratom packages, and I want to know what I'm getting is just Kratom and nothing else. This would keep patients from getting contaminated products that would be harmful. Also agree with Kratom being legal for those not 21 and up, but 18 and up. My thoughts are, if you're considered an adult at 18, you can smoke at 18, you're old enough to serve our country in the armed services at 18, then you're old enough to take Kratom at 18. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak today. And if you have any questions for me.